jobs require strange skills, such as wielding blades inside a freezer. I was working on first night one night, my glove slipped off and caught one of the bits and broke three, three of my fingers. Such are the hazards of ice sculpting. Every day, Don Chappelle and his crew head into the chill at Brilliant Ice Sculpture in Lawrence. It's really beautiful. If it's done right and it's well lit, it's just like looking at crystal. The job is a race against the clock and the thermometer. In a few hours at Chappelle's workshop, the sculptors transform blocks of ice into works of art, assembling them on site. We did a 110 block piece this year on, on Boylston Plaza. We did a, the skyline of Boston. The tallest piece was 14 feet tall and we fused 110 blocks together. Brilliant Ice Sculpture creates two to 3,000 works of art a year for all kinds of events, even during summer. Chappelle was first drawn to ice as a teen when he was learning how to cook. I was a chef for 33 years at a very high level and I would moonlight doing ice sculpting. While he was executive chef at the MFA in Boston, Chappelle took traditional sculpture and drawing classes. He became more interested in ice than food, launching his business more than 30 years ago. I have the opportunity to work with some great people who are actually more talented than I am. They have art degrees, I don't. We're not really working alone, and I think that's really important. I think that's why it makes me so happy and makes them happy as well. Chappelle is particularly fond of large-scale designs depicting ocean life. He says he loves the fragile, fleeting nature of ice and the reactions his work elicits. When you have the time, we'll put our jackets on and get a glass of wine and come back out and just stand in back of the crowd admiring our work and the comments and the pictures. Ooh, ah, it's just, it's so fulfilling. Grand artistic displays are run-of-the-mill at the Gilded Age mansions of Newport, Rhode Island. We have 60,000 objects in our collection um, spread across all of our houses. Many of those objects were custom-made for the outsized figures who once lived here. In the late 1800s, Alva and William Vanderbilt occupied Marble House for six weeks every summer. It took six weeks for the Preservation Society of Newport County to clean Marble House thoroughly. It's a huge endeavor. The house was built with 500,000 cubic feet of marble. We've cleaned about 14 rooms, not counting entrances, 115 paintings. We're almost done here. Collections manager Catherine Garrett Cox says the work is painstaking. They're pretty much done on your hands and knees, section by section, so it's very time consuming. Conservators carefully assess everything from furniture to wall ornamentation. Their goal is to stabilize items rather than fully restore them, says Chief Conservator Patricia Miller. We get a real fluctuation being here by the ocean with uh, changes in humidity and temperature. Those gold figures, those are actually carved marble with a gilding on top of that. Whatever we can save, we save. With the doors wide open, you're just letting in everything. So, you know, the pollen, all of the dust and debris that's coming in from outside. And so that's what really gets layered upon the objects. And dust over time, if it's not taken off, can actually damage an object. To prevent further damage, cleaning materials are green and minimal. We start actually with very soft brushes and a vacuum cleaners that have variable speeds. And then we go over them with a microfiber cloth. We might also use what we call damp cleaning, which is with uh, deionized water, and that's it. The staff works quickly, but carefully. They won't do another deep clean like this for four years. Marble House is open every day to the public, so this is our one shot at hitting as much as we can. Marble House finished the big sprucing up a few months ago, but at the moment, the Newport mansions remain closed to the public. A phased reopening of the mansions is planned over the coming weeks. Here's a fun fact for you. It turns out the ice sculptor Don Chappelle has done quite a bit of work for parties and weddings at the mansions. Well, next, the art of interior design.